welcome back to the 30th Arias, live from the Star in Sydney. And now to induct the latest addition to the Aria Hall of Fame, Flight of the Concords. Hello, Australia. Um, tonight, Crowded House are being inducted into the Australian Hall of Music fame. And we've been sent here by the New Zealand government <laughs> to stop this from happening. Stop it. Read the note from the Prime Minister who gave you a scrunched up bit of printed paper. <coughs> this Read is from it. the Prime Minister of New Zealand. It says, hello. Uh, stop it, Aussies, exclamation mark. Neil Finn is from New Zealand. Yours, PMNZ, a.k.a. John. That's the Prime Minister of That's New come Zealand. from the top. <laughs> yeah. You don't need it. We must stop this. We can't let this happen. You have enough bands in Australia. Your we Hall went... of Fame is full of uh, bands. We went know. in the Hall of Fame. It's an actual hall out there, yeah. and all those people have to live in there. ACDC were in there. The Wiggles were in there. BGs are in there. Nick Cave was in there. He looks miserable. There's no windows. <laughs> you don't need anyone else in there. You know, we really need Crowded House, OK? We don't have many bands. Our Music Hall of Fame is more of a doorway of uh, fame. <laughs> So stop it, Australia. Uh, okay, someone's gesturing me from over there saying uh, it can't be stopped, it's too late. They're saying, saying they're gesturing that they've already engraved the trophy. Oh, the, they're doing right, a rude okay. gesture what's now. That? Oh, yeah, Very rude that. gesture. Right. Now they're going like this. They're yeah, saying, what's, Oh, well, oh, we present. Oh, oh but oh, think of it. They're asking us to oh, present yeah. it. Well, now they're doing their induction. Oh, that's the, gesture. That's the gesture of, of inducting a band. Um, well, that's actually quite flattering, and actually, that would be an honour. All oh. right, we'll do that, but don't tell anyone in New Zealand that we've done this. Crowded House, ladies and gentlemen, are undeniably one of the greatest bands to come out of Australia and New Zealand. There's a reason that New Zealanders and Australianders argue about the origin of this band all over backpackers and Oktoberfests all over the world. <laughs> it's because we're proud of them. Their beautifully crafted songs have touched the hearts of millions of people all over the world, including mine. And mine. And mine. I already said that. Um, and so let's take a look now back at the incredible music this partially Australian and partially New Zealand band has given us. Crowd House, we're doing slate one, take three. <laughs> The year was 1984, and on the back of their farewell tour in Melbourne, Split End's bandmates Neil Finn and Paul Hester decided to form a new band, soon adding Nick Seymour to the lineup. You know what it means to me. The trio headed to LA, where they moved into a crowded house to record their debut record. Welcome to yoga. Crowded House were armed with boundless energy, a unique camaraderie, and a roguish sense of humour. The boys also had an uncanny ability to write incredible melodies. Hey now, hey now, don't, dream it's over, hey don't Dream It's Over became a huge international hit and an anthem for generations to come. The music, for me anyway, predominantly has to address the deeper, darker thoughts that lurk underneath the surface in people's heads, and that's when you connect with people. For a decade, the band dominated award ceremonies and conquered charts around the world. And the winner is... Crowded House. Crowded House. Temple of Low Man, Crowded House. Crowded House! We'd like to thank EMI for the money. See you later. Everywhere you go. In 1994, founding member Paul Hester announced his departure. Take the it was not long after the group shared the heartbreaking news that Crowded House was disbanding. But not before they farewelled the world with an emotional show on the Sydney Opera House forecourt in 1996. Tell me I don't know you go. Oh. The now iconic gig attracted one of the largest live audiences in Australian history. Very important for us because we hadn't actually punctuated any ending much. There's something about coming back to Australia where it sort of began and 
making some sort of uh, gesture. But it was fantastic, I really enjoyed it and uh, I'm looking forward to doing it again with another band. Oh, it was pretty overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was amazing, it was very um, grand. Ex As the boys went on to work on their own creative projects over the next decade, they remained close friends. So when the news came in 2005 that Paul Hester had passed away, music fans all over the globe shared their loss. Honouring their legacy with Paul, Neil and Nick reformed the band two years later, playing to dedicated fans at major festivals around the globe. In the shadow of Paul's passing, Nick and I have reconnected musically and otherwise really. We've taken good comfort and good uh, companionship from each other. Now, Crowded House returned to the Sydney Opera House for a series of sold out gigs this week, cementing their status as among the most treasured artists in Australian history. With six multi-platinum studio albums, an incredible 12 ARIA awards and international acclaim, Crowded House's unique songwriting, artistry and live performances deserve a place in Australian music history and the ARIA Hall of Fame. Please make welcome to the Aria Fall of Flame, Crowded House. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Brett Germain, um, for coming in from New Zealand. I'm, I'm surprised they let you in the uh, immigration, <laughs> considering how subversive your message was tonight. Um, it's been a long time, it's been 30 years, so um, there's a lot of people to thank. So I bought an analog piece of paper here, which I'm just ripping, actually. Um, my eyes can't read an iPhone. Um, I'd like to go through those thanks, and I'm sure we all have, um, but especially initially to thank my wife, Sharon, for, who's been there since the very beginning of the... <laughs> and through split ends, for that matter, as well. Um, and really, you know, been there uh, at my side and inspired a lot, of, a lot of songs and put up with a lot of neurosis through the years, so I do thank you and love you for that. Thank you. My family, uh, Liam and Elroy, um, who both performed with Crowded House, um, and uh, we now have a, a wonderful daughter-in-law, Janina, and a wonderful grandson, Buddy Malosi Finn. So he doesn't even know I'm thanking him, but I thank him anyway, because um, he's bringing great joy. Um, of course, up there, you can't help but um, look at that and think what an amazing presence in our band and in the world was Paul Hester. And uh, we wouldn't have uh, we wouldn't have been uh, anywhere near as um, in engaging and uh, and amusing and wonderful as we sometimes were without Paul. And I'm so happy that his uh, beautiful daughters Sunday and Oliver are here with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for coming and sharing this with us. Um, my family, my larger family, uh, my dad, Dick Richard, who's 94 years old, at home. My brother Tim, who was uh, a, a member of, of Crowded House, very memorably for one of our most important records and wrote these uh, songs with me, with a few. Um, he's gonna be, he's around in Sydney for the people who are coming to the shows, so. You can expect us a little cameo there. So um, I'd like to say a big thanks to Tim. 
Uh, all the musicians who've played with Crowded House, we've had many um, over the years, uh, and I did write them down. I will mention them by name because on our tours, we have had great assistance and uh, good joy from Eddie Rayner, Mitchell Froome, our um, engineer and uh, producer, Chad Blake, uh, Mike Gupp, Craig Hooper, who co-wrote the song Recurring Dream. Thank you, Craig. Um, Jill Civil, Davey Lane, and of course, a special mention for our dear friend, Peter Jones, who is, couldn't be here tonight, is no longer with us, but we miss him, and he, he was a great drummer for us. Thank you, Peter. Um, of course, we have, we have managers. We've had managers, like, you know, like people have hot breakfasts, lots of them. But very notable uh, mention for Grant Thomas, who was our manager back in the day. Um, Bocky, as we used to call him, he was the first one that we knew that wore Reeboks that came up to here. So he was nicknamed Bocky. But we do thank him because he was a really tireless worker for us all through our formative years. And um, yeah, uh, thank you to Grant. In recent times, Bill Cullen and One Louder Management down here. Although actually, Bill was around back in the day. He was a schoolboy when he started working for us, really, weren't you? Yeah, look at you. Yeah, you were the head boy, weren't you? Yeah, look at you. You turned out all right. Yeah, great family in Idri. Um, thank you. Um, yeah, sorry, I put my paper away. It's getting really ratty now. Look at this thing. Um, the crew, the, our road crew. Um, we've got so many people that I can't really name them all, but really, let's give some praise to, some, to the crew. Everybody that's been in a band or been on the road knows how important they are and how much, uh, you know, how unsung they are most of the time. Uh, despite Cameron Crowe attempting to make a, a series about it, no one really has captured the road crew, so that's out there still. You might, that might be a good idea for next series, yeah. Um, yeah, Dougal, Arlo, uh, Digger, all, Kerry, all of our crew here tonight, thank you. Um, uh? Jeff Lloyd, Lloydie, Lloyd, yep. Lloydie, driver to the stars. Steve Swift. Um, Steve Swift. Okay, and, and record company, of course, we've been with EMI almost the whole way, really. John O'Donnell's here tonight. John. John's been there with us most of the way as well, but lots of lots of amazing people. People like Malcolm Hill, who now live here, who's became a bird, he became a bird spotter after working for Crowded House. Nothing else compared, really. So I'd like to say a big thanks to him, people like Tony Wasworth in England, but yeah, EMI generally is a family. Dixie Battersby in Western Australia. She's a legend, Perth, Dixie, but uh, all over Australia, we've had amazing times with you people and uh, you know, there's been a connection there. So we, we thank you all. Um, Nick, have you got some people to thank? Cause I'm really hogging the show, aren't I? Like I always did really, thank you. Thanks Neil, you've done an incredible job. <laughs> I, I, it's just Peter Green. Oh, Peter Green, of yeah. course. You know, we, we, he's been with us since day one. And we started out in, in 85 in Melbourne. And, uh, you know, it, it's an incredible privilege to have the country, your own country, recognize you as an artist in your lifetime. I really give thanks for that. Nick, your art's all over this, this award show tonight. Just walk down the stairs, you'll see Nick's paintings. It's great. Yes. All right. um, thanks to all our fans. You want to say anything, you guys? Just thanks. The word. I would like to say thanks to Neil and Nick and Paul. In 1989, they allowed an American to be in their band. Now there's two, so we're actually, forget about New Zealand and Australia, we're an American band, thank you. Do you have a note from the, from the president though? No. no. All right, well that's us, that's, we're done. We're gonna, we're gonna, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so much. Yeah.
inside her Lying in the dark And I think that I'm beginning to know her Let it go I'll be waiting when you call Ooh, whenever I fall At your feet And you let your tears Rain down on me Whenever I touch Your slow turning pain A finger of blame Has turned upon itself And I'm more than willing to Offer myself Do you want my presence on Somewhere deep inside Something's got a hold on you And it's pushing me aside See it stretch on forever And I know I'm right For the first time in my That's why I tell you it better be home soon. Don't say. Let's go. 
moment right there. Thank you so much, Missy Higgins, Bernard Fatting, and Crowded House. We'll be right back. <laughs> 